It's called uh, RDJ CS5, and it's basically um, a 12 inch where I made the whole thing using one single synthesizer, which is this Yamaha CS5 that a friend of mine bought from auction. And it has the liner notes for Aphex Twins Selected Ambient Works scrawled into the bottom. Basically, Richard James scratched these liner notes into it and took a photo and that is what's in the actual liner notes of Select Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. So I just thought, you know, with that little backstory on this synth, I thought it would be kind of interesting to, to make a whole EP of tracks using this synth as a, uh, as a single sound source. That synthesizer, which is a very, the Yamaha CS5 is a very limited synthesizer. I couldn't have picked a worse synth to have to limit myself to than that one. I basically, I wanted to do put this thing out really kind of quickly and I wanted to do something kind of in an homage to the fact that this synth had this stuff scrawled on it. I actually put a, like a sort of a drone ambient track on there and I, I actually, individually on all 300 copies etched the the title of this of this track it was also a reference to the fact that there's this infamous story of Aphex Twin doing this DJ set where he brought out a, a sheet of sandpaper and put the needle down on this and let that spin and that was his his set so I actually called this track sandpaper and obviously it's not really meant to be played because it's you know it's probably going to damage your your needle the whole sort of spirit of the of this project, I wanted it to be something that I, you know, did entirely myself. So that's why it was really important for me to put that one out on Suction Records. It is definitely a statement on this tangible object, which I do appreciate, which is this vinyl record, and that every copy does get an individual experience. Like you can't. It's not something that you could really, I mean, I guess you could somehow, you know, send everyone a different digital file. It's a reflection of how I feel about music. I really value the, the hands-on experience of working with hardware and the sound of analog voltages and electricity that comes out of these type of machines. You know, I may listen to a lot of records, a lot of music on my own iPod, but I feel like ultimately um, the way that I, you know, would ideally like for my music to be consumed is through, you know, through a physical product. The idea of, of my tracks randomly floating around on the internet and, and and sitting on hard drives is kind of goes against what I feel my music is about.